corona pandemic is by no means over yet, but around 10,000 Germans are resting and frolicking on their favorite vacation island. The Spanish island of Mallorca has been getting ready for their summer guests for weeks, in Port del Cudia, for instance. If you take Mallorca away from the Germans, they've got a problem. If you take the Germans away from us, we've got a problem. But that doesn't mean all the islanders are ready to welcome the holidaymakers. Some feel like they're being used as guinea pigs. Anameta Slot makes one last check to see that everything's in place. From the two-meter distance to be observed on the terrace to the disinfectant for the bartender, she's memorized every new hygiene rule. They'll be taking effect in Mallorca's hotels the next day. Now we've got little dispensers everywhere that people can take along. That's really the most important thing, to keep your hands clean at all times so that if the virus is around, you won't get it into your system. The Danish quality manager has spent every day of the past few weeks with the hotel chain's Corona task force. It's their job to make sure all the workers put the government's 21 new hygiene protocols into practice. By far the greatest challenge is reforming the work routines in the hotel restaurants. The patrons won't be able to take the food themselves here anymore. That's what they call a cross-contamination. But there's a lot of room back there. That's where our personnel can cook the dishes and serve the food directly on the plates. The three months of lockdown have already left their mark all around the island. It was imposed in early spring, right at the start of the vacation season. Many businesses in the bathing resort of Port de Alcudia haven't opened since last autumn. The island's economy has lost approximately 1 billion euros a month since the crisis began. Down on the beach, everything's ready for the first tourists. To make sure they keep the proper distance, the number of beach loungers has been cut by three quarters. The rental agent Gaspar Company hardly has anything left to do. Only a few islanders are out here today. On a Sunday like this, the beach would normally be completely full. This is a very popular section of beach, especially with families and couples too. The water isn't very deep and everything's nice and pleasant around here. Normally we'd have a lot going on here. This little fast food shop at the foot of the deserted high-rise hotels reopened about two weeks ago. Manuel Salguero has been serving a few local patrons beer and burgers, but his regular customers have yet to show up. The Germans always order bratwurst, and they're satisfied with it. We've been frying bratwurst here for 38 years now, and the Germans always think it tastes good, with curry. Manuel Salguero is also well prepared. He's replaced his menus with QR codes. Mallorca is a second home to many Germans. If you take Mallorca away from the Germans, they've got a problem. If you take the Germans away from us, we've got a problem. The next morning, a plane carrying the long-awaited solution to that problem comes in for a landing, slightly delayed. The first German vacationers have arrived at Palma de Mallorca airport. Spain won't officially be opening its borders till late June. But an exception's been made for the guests from Germany, with infections apparently dropping there and the need for tourist euros rapidly growing. Over four million Germans come to the island every year and spend their money here. Before they head for the beach, they have to have their temperatures taken and fill out some health questionnaires. In the arrivals terminal, over a hundred members of the press from around the world are waiting for a scoop. 
tourists are taking their summer vacation. Not even when the very first East German tourists arrived in Mallorca after the fall of the Berlin Wall 30 years ago, was it such a media sensation, say the older reporters. I think it's because we had a total lockdown for three months, and in that time, everything that used to be normal stopped being normal. And what didn't used to be news, that millions of Germans were coming to Mallorca, is now suddenly news. And here they are, the new stars of the island. And how do they feel? How was the meal service on board? Every holidaymaker is mobbed by reporters. Thomas and Antonia Tobor have arrived in the morning from Bonn. The flight was fine, except it was packed with the press. That was the only unusual thing. What did the family at home say about this holiday? Did they think it was a good idea or not? They may have been a bit worried. 189 holidaymakers came on the first plane. The next 200 Germans are expected late in the afternoon. But as mentioned, not all the islanders welcome this experiment. Spain's been hit especially hard by the corona pandemic the last few months. Over 27,000 people died in this country. Some people here worry that thousands of holidaymakers returning to the beaches could bring new infections. The graffiti says Mallorca is not an experimental lab. To be honest, I'm a little afraid. The tourists get up to lots of mischief. But now we'll just have to go through with it. I'd say we need this initiative, because we want to stay in the lead in tourism. It's in our own interests. But of course, we mustn't lose sight of the health aspect. Somehow we have to return to normalcy, but we have to be more cautious. We can't change this situation. But we shouldn't go back to the old times when it was so overcrowded everywhere around here. We need a more prudent and easygoing tourism. For years, the debate has raged on the island over how to reconcile mass tourism and sustainability. The corona crisis amplified the discussion. At the same time, it showed the islanders just how dependent they really are on holidaymakers. Some three quarters of Mallorca's economic output comes from the tourism sector. That might help explain why the participants in the pilot project are given a royal welcome at the hotel in Port de Alcudia. And here too, the reporters are ready and waiting, even following them all the way to their rooms. Quality manager Anna Slot is also in high demand for interviews. What is normal? That's news now. <laughs> Breaking news, claro. <laughs> Antonia and Tomas Tobor, the couple from the airport, have had a little time to recover from the media frenzy at their hotel. It's their first vacation together for quite some time. They've been together for four years. Antonia originally came from Ukraine. She first met Thomas in his capacity as a refugee counselor. Never in my life will I forget this vacation. Even my mother just called me over WhatsApp and said, Antonia, we just now saw you on Russian television. They really did. I can hardly believe it. As soon as we got on the tour bus that brought us to the hotel, we found a complimentary gift from the Balearic regional government, a fantastic beach towel. I can show it to you this wonderful design. Right in the middle of what would normally be peak season, the project's participants have the beach promenade of El Aranal almost entirely to themselves. The 10 days at half pension only cost them 400 euros. It doesn't seem to bother them that the island's clubs and discos aren't allowed to open. What many want more than anything is a break from all the weeks of lockdown restrictions. Actually, all we want to do is go to the beach. We thought to ourselves, oh God, where shall we go? Which borders are open and which aren't? What could be more relaxing than Mallorca without people? 
and we've earned it. I'm an occupational health nurse, for example, and our ward took in suspected cases of COVID infection. So we've already been through some things. Emotionally as well. We're just thankful that we can be here. We were starting to climb the walls, so this is a real liberation. Back at the hotel, Antonia and Tomas realize even their holiday is saddled with restrictions. The protocol for dinner is complicated. Now, how does this work here? Yes, good question. Do you have to go in a circle? The hotel personnel watch every move like hawks. First, disinfect. Then put the gloves on. Then disinfect again. Then don the masks. This really feels like being admitted to the corona ward, just like at my job. At the Sundana on the beach, things are noticeably more relaxed. In spite of all the social distancing, the holidaymakers can chat with one another. I keep saying we'll never experience anything like this again. It's sad that I won't experience it again, but... If it weren't for the fact that so few people are on the beach, you wouldn't even notice that anything special is happening here. Not many others are that relaxed about it. Surveys have shown that because of the pandemic, a majority of Europeans prefer to go without their holiday cocktails on foreign beaches. We've seen this time and again, for instance, after terrorist attacks. People stay away from the vacation spots for four or five years. Eventually, they can get used to anything, I think, and then they'll be back in full force. But I think it'll take a bit of psychological self-persuasion with a lot of people, who are still a little nervous right now. Slowly but surely, it starts to feel like vacations used to for Antonia and Thomas. But even after the 10,000 pilot holidaymakers, Mallorca won't start welcoming the tourist crowds back anytime soon. When or if the island is able or even willing, the result of this experiment may well give some hint.